Welcome to New Zealand's biggest gap year recap where we are going through our 365 days of 365 activities in New Zealand telling you a little bit more about the activities at the end of the video and also going through some comments and questions. And on day 26 of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, we visited the Ruakuri Cave in Waitomo. So check out the activity and we'll go through some comments at the end of the video. The van is picking us up from the Waitomo Glowworm Caves, which makes things easier because the drive down to Rukuri is like on a gravel road. We hop out the bus and Paul tells us the Maori legend surrounding the Rukuri Cave. To get down to the Rukuri Cave, we have to take a long spiral walkway. But just before we start walking, Paul flicks on the lights and it reveals one by one each floor. That's a pretty cool reveal. Don't touch the limestone formations. Obviously you don't want to snap any with your rough, horrible hands, but also the chemicals on hands can actually react with the limestone and kill the formation itself. So lucky, no touchy. Along the way, there were quite a few glowworms too. So the guide actually got us to turn off our light so we could actually really see the glowworms really close. And you can see the fishing line down. So glowworms are basically maggots. Oh, Having a fishing line down there to catch flies. And when the flies get stuck on it, that's pretty much it. We're walking through this cave and there's an insane amount of rock features. The whole ceiling is covered in stalactites and there is the stalagmite and there's columns and there's wavy stuff going on. There's ancient coral. There's even some fossils. Stalactites are those big cone-shaped um, rock formations coming from the top of the cave. Stalagmites are those big cone-shaped formations coming from the bottom of the cave and going up. They're both formed by like water dripping and then falling off and, and those kind of things. We eventually get to this really cool part of the cave, which is like a huge cavern full of stalagmites and stalactites. And you're just like, oh, this is fabulous. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty pretty. You just kind of just sit there and, well, stand there in silence like, oh, wow. Can you believe this exists on planet Earth? It's kind of, yeah, the whole place is just like a milky white color as well. So that's, it's just, bizarre, it's just unusual. Ton of stalactites and all the, the walls, you know, it's like it's all like dripping with water and it's just surreal. It looks like it, we're not in the same world right now. It's, oh my God, I really love it. And the two guys that had like so many insights, it was awesome. I do be left behind in the dark. <laughs> Obviously it's pretty dark except for just the lights on the walkway. That's the only thing you've got to guide you down. The good thing is the whole cave, like in each section we go to, it's lit up really well. So you can get some really nice pictures in there and you don't need any skills, just point and shoot. The, all the stuff looks really amazing anyway, so it's impossible to take a bad photo. The tour, I think it lasts about an hour and you get to see like a little bit of everything. You get to see all the awesome rock formations in this cave. You also get to see the glowworms. You get to see the close-up of the glowworms. All the while you are keeping dry. You don't have to do any crazy activities just to see how awesome these caves are, which is the beauty of this Ruakuri cave tour. And also it doesn't take too long either. I mean, if you've got an hour to spare in your day in Waitomo, it's a cool little tour to do. The tour is finished now. It's time to go back for a lovely night at the Juno Hall Backpackers. Run, run. It's not good. It's not good. What? 
Oh. <laughs> Robin! He's got the fucking shit out of me. You are a Oh my god, I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we did get a couple of questions about the Ruakuri cave, so let's dive straight into that. Ul Ses asked, sorry if I got your name wrong, um, asked Rookery Cave or Waitomo Glowworm Cave? Where can I see more glowworms? All right, so for both of these caves, they both do have really good um, viewings of glowworms. But if you want to see the most glowworms, then the Waitomo Glowworm Caves tour is definitely the one to go for. Although it's a much shorter tour, and um, you actually, it's it's got more of a focus on the glowworms themselves. You get to see them close up and get to see their sort of sticky strands that they have. But you also get to go into a little boat which floats under this huge cave with thousands and thousands of glowworms. So that's definitely the one to go for if you are more interested in the quantity of glowworms that you see. Um, but that said, in Ruakuri Cave, you also get to see sort of similar sights in terms of the glowworms. You get to see them close up. You also get to sort of see more sort of smaller clusters on the cave ceilings as you go throughout the tour. But Ruakuri Cave, I think, takes more of a focus on the limestone formations rather than just the glowworms. So that's sort of the difference between the two. All right, and Ren asked, did you actually see plenty of glowworms, like enough to take photos? The Waitomo Caves Photography Tour is £799, which in New Zealand dollars is about uh, 1,600 New Zealand dollars. That seems pretty expensive. Um, all right, so yes, you do get to see plenty of glowworms on the Ruakuri Cave Tour. Um, absolutely, you get to see them close up. You get to see them sort of, they turn off the lights so that you can see them sort of twinkling on the ceiling, which is really good. But in terms of taking photos, Taking photos of glowworms is pretty time consuming. So for this reason, this is why um, a lot of these Waitomo tours actually ban um, people taking photos on these tours. Because first of all, taking too many photos and the lights and stuff can, um, I don't know, do something to the glowworms, damage the glowworms or something. But also it's just time consuming. So the tour can't really move on if you're spending the time trying to do some slow shutter speed shots of the of the glowworms so that's probably why they do a separate tour a photography tour which actually gives you the time you need to be able to take photos of the glowworms and you know sort of taking photos of glowworms does take a lot of practice and again that also is very time consuming once you've figured out the settings that you need to take a photo of the glowworms you know that's going to take you probably a good hour and then you're going to start wanting to find different areas around the caves to take photos of so yeah, so taking photos on these glowworm cave tours, I definitely wouldn't get your expectations too high. I would just enjoy the tours for what they are and take some sort of, um, I don't know, memory photos as you're going around. Like, yeah, it's pretty hard to take good photos of the glowworms. Um, so, yeah, I hope that answers your questions and you're not too disappointed about not being able to take photos or at least get time to take some good photos. Uh, but if you do have any questions about the Waitomo Caves or anything to do with traveling in New Zealand, make sure to put them in the comments below and we will get back to you probably as soon as possible. Otherwise, you can join us at our live Q&A session every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time, which we do here on YouTube. You can come into the live chat and ask your questions there. There. Otherwise, head to nzpocketguide.com, which is a free online travel guide for New Zealand, and it has thousands and thousands and thousands of articles about traveling in New Zealand, so you'll probably find plenty of information there. All right, until the next video, see you later.